All right, YouTube, what's up, man? It's your boy Ruku Chris, man, and we are here with Wild and Rich, aka Low Rich. You already know what it is, man. And look, it's been a long weekend, long two weekends, however you want to say it. But as y'all see, man, my man's Rich got into a tragic accident. You feel as me? As you can see, man. As you can see, he got into a tragic accident where he unfortunately lost a foot, not a leg. I wouldn't say a leg because he still have his leg, but he lost an ankle and a foot. Yeah. And RP to J Vo, for sure. Y'all ah. know, RP to J Vo. But look, man. Rich, I got a couple of questions because, you know, the fans, supporters, everybody got a couple of questions too, you know. Mm -hmm. First of all, how was you mentally, how was you mentally, like, you know, from this accident, how was you mentally, honestly, bro? Yeah, but I'm keeping it in place. Because you can't, you can't let everybody show that you up about a certain situation. You know what I'm saying? On the night of, bro, I'm sure, like, you asleep, right? Mm-hmm. So, 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 describe what happened in your way to the supporters and to the fans. What's your way? You can, you can make it short and brief. Mm -hmm. You know, like describe what happened that night. All right. So, we basically were going to the rodeo. We went to the rodeo, okay. left the rodeo, uh, dropped Armand and uh, Demond. Uh, Aaron, we dropped Aaron Demond off. All right. Then, forty minutes away, we had to drop Corey off. Then, after we dropped Corey off, we was on the way to the B and B with the girls again. Mm -hmm. But sadly, when we was on the way, I guess. So y'all was on the way to the B&B? &B. Yeah. Back to the same B&B Back we to went the same B&B y'all went to the day before? No, after the rodeo. We went out after, we went to the rodeo. B&B. Uh -huh. &B. Mm -hmm. We dropped them off. Mm -hmm. For man, they, they was close. You know, the Airbnb was close to Runic House already, so that wasn't nothing with, with Armand and them. But we had that 40 minute drive with Corey dropped him off. Mm -hmm. And the girls wanted to just come back. So he was like, man, we gonna come back. Mm -hmm. We on our way back. But meanwhile, I ain't gonna lie, at the, uh, at the B &B, when we were first went there, the girls were just down to me with shots. And that's what made me go to sleep. I fell asleep once we were on the way to the B&B &B again. And it's like three some. So I guess, I don't know what happened from there to be honest. I woke up on the ground in the middle of the freeway, next to the car. I'm flying. So when you woke up, so you were just asleep, right? And mm -hmm. you woke up literally on a highway. Mm -hmm. What did your mind process when you woke up on a highway? Like, did you think like, what, what happened? Did you, did you even think like, how did I get here? First thing I was like, man, David, I'm crashed. Okay, so you, in your mind, you obviously knew he crashed or something happened for you to get out the car. Mm -hmm. All right, and you said you looked at your leg, right? Mm-hmm. And fainted again and passed when out. When you looked at your leg, honestly, I'm asking because real shit, I want to know, like, when you looked at your leg, son, like, how did, like, was it detached off or? Uh, it was or? already gone. Like, I ain't know where my foot was at. Gone. Whoa. Gone. Damn, son. You I fainted. wish it would have just been hanging or something so they could probably, you know, the hospital was tweaking a little bit. Yeah. So when you seen your leg going, you fainted again. Yep, woke up. And you said you felt the, you you felt the heat from, from the, the car. car. Yep, that's what really woke me up. To be was honest. it like a was it flaming like, whole like with the flaming a lot? Flames. Shit. Whole car was in flames. And that junk is crazy. So, you fainted, and after you fainted, what happened next? Woke up. Hello, people. Flashlights, I'm going to stretcher, put me in the back of the ambulance. Then the last thing I know is they put that shit on. Oh, uh, the, 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 the oxygen shit? Yeah, the anesthesia stuff. Mm -hmm. Put you to sleep. And woke up in the hospital. And then it was like all that junk. It's just, I was out tripping. Y'all know. Yeah. Y'all was there. All right, so look, I'm going to tell you about how it went on my side mm -hmm. that night. What happened from my side? All right, so prior, we know that. Y'all was going to the rodeo, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, y'all, all right, Javo, all right, Rich. You know, we was in the garage before y'all walked out. Y'all went to the, um, y'all went to the uh, rodeo. So y'all go to the rodeo, y'all do all that and stuff like that. You know, it's the night. Y'all, we usually know, hey, y'all, everybody usually know if Root Crew, any Root Crew member leave the house at anywhere, any time, or to go anywhere, they're going to be back here at least by 10 a.m. the next day mm -hmm. or later that night. So, I woke up. You know, first, Rail, Rukuru Rail, Rail wakes up around 1 to 12 p.m. 
He wake up late. Everything. This one day, he woke up super early and he came in the room at seven in the morning. He came in the room and he said, hey, yo, Chris, I'm trying to get some Starbucks. And then he was like, hold on, where them niggas at? Mm-hmm. I said, damn, they not back yet? So my mind was to think that y'all was locked up, you know? Mm-hmm. At least like, what if the, they was driving out late and the police pulled them over or something and they got locked up, you know? So I'm thinking you guys locked up. So I wake up, I text your phone. You had a phone that was here. You had two phones. You had your main phone that was with you. Yeah. And you had your second phone that was here. Mm-hmm. And as I'm texting your phone, it's saying delivered, but it's saying delivered to the phone that's here. here. So I'm thinking you playing with me and just not responding back. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, man, Rich playing with me, bro. Well, he know he see me calling him. So Real was like, hey, bro, he probably left his other phone. So I go in the closet. I see your other phone. I turned it off. So I'm getting to come calling. I'm calling, I'm like, oh, it's not going through for real, for real. Like, yeah. damn, I'm calling j He's not answering. I call Aaron and Damon because I knew they went with y'all. Mm-hmm. I said, yo, back. I said, hey, Damon, you ever heard from j Where they at? I'm thinking, they spit the, I'm thinking y'all spent the night at their house. You know, like how it is. You know, hey, let me spend the night at your house, bro. You know, and then we'll go back tomorrow, you know? Mm-hmm. So Damon said, no, I haven't heard from them. You ever heard from them yet? I'm like, no, nah, I'll let you know. He's like, all right. I get the call in the police stations. Yo, do y'all have Lil Rich? Do y'all have Jamon Charles? Do y'all have, St- you know? No, no, we don't have them. No, no, we don't have them. So I was like, all right, maybe they haven't got processed yet. Right. So we finally called Corey, and Corey answered. And he said, yo, what's up? He was just, well, he was just waking up. I said, hey, bro, you, you heard from Jamon, uh, the, you heard from Javo and Rich? Oh. No, man. I think they went to the B&B, a girl B&B. I said, all right, bro, well, them niggas not texting back, though. I'm sure if they went to a girl B&B, they'll be texting back. Yeah. So he said, hold on, I'm going to call you right back. Let me check their location. He checked their location. He checked Rich's location because Rich was sharing locations with Corey. Y'all, that's why it's important to share locations so you can know where your loved ones or your friends. Yo, cool. Anybody that- you cool with, share locations with them, bro. Share locations with the close people you or anybody mm-hmm. you cool with, for real. And this is prime example why that helped because we would have never knew still where they was at later down. In fact, we would have found out later, but we found out earlier because of Corey and Rich were sharing locations already in the previous week. Mm-hmm. So, Rick, so Corey called us back and was like, yo, let's, uh, yo, I see their location. It say they at Katy Freeway. It say they stuck and they last was seen at 2.58 p.m. And what time it was then when y'all got that information? Eight, nine, ten. So that's the next day? Like the morning. You know, it was oh, yeah, yeah. that morning. Yeah, that morning, up. morning, yeah. Yeah. So oh, okay, okay. we like, yeah, bro, they got to be locked up, bro. And, and, and the police just left the votes there. And they said they was going to have somebody pick it up. You know how it mm-hmm. be. And they got, they left their phones. or they, You know, the police turned off their phones. They left the car there. Yeah, they locked up. I'm thinking that. So. I said, all right, Corey, hold on, bro. I'm going to call the jails one more time, bro. I called the jails. Soon when I tried to call, Corey called back and was like, yo, I have a friend that went past the, the site, the location, and they said that they seen a big wreck, and it looked like it was fire. Mm-hmm. As soon as when we heard that, we called the hospitals. Juicy called the hospital. She called us while we was out the door because we was finna go to the site ourselves. But she called us was like they said he got rich at the hospital, but he got transported from Katy to downtown. So we like, wow, it got to be bad. Like, no, no, you know. So we still on a hunt to find a Javo. Mm-hmm. So we finally go to the hospital, bro. We seen you. That's when you seen me, real and and ruining. And bro, I'm not gonna lie, son. Like, seeing seeing you like that at first, bro. If it, it messed me up. It messed me up, y'all. It messed all of us up. I had to walk out. Me and Real had to walk out because we was crying that bad that we didn't want Rich to see us crying. Yeah. We had to walk out. But eventually, you know, we was like, all right, when we started knowing, when, when the doctor started telling us more about how, you know, he finna shake back in, you know, we started like, all right, you know, it's not the end. So we were still on the verge of finding j We found Rich. We were still on the verge of finding Javo. We we seen the article out, a news article. The, the article that you guys see, it said that a man was struck by a car and his leg was detached from his body and he died. He was pronounced dead. 
and a pedestrian was hit. First of all, Rich is not dead. He wasn't struck by a car. I just feel like the news since the crash, Rich body was probably far away from the car that they thought he got struck by a car. Yeah. But he flew through the car. He flew through the windshield. So I think the news got the story messed up on that one. That shit had me mad as hell. They had us confused because we thought that Javo hit a pedestrian. We thought Javo killed somebody, ran over them. Yeah, and got that's the how, yeah, that's how the news portrayed it. They portrayed it like Javo hit and ran somebody and he killed them. And Rich just lost his leg somehow. And later down that line, 10 minutes later after that, 20 minutes later after that, one of the sheriffs that was at the site seen called and confirmed that that was Javo that passed away and died in the car. So that was from my side, bro. Like that, it was devastating for me. It was like a mystery, bro. We was literally, we woke, me and Real woke up at seven. We got everybody worried. It was a mystery, it was a time mystery, bro. Like each hour, each minute wasting by, bro, we are getting worried, like we getting so like devastated, bro. Each hour, each minute that passed back without us hearing from y'all. So once you found out that Javo passed away, how did you like, Take that in. Because I'm sure you didn't even think that, bro. I didn't. I ain't going to lie. I didn't, but it was in the back of my head because how the car was burning up. And I'm, like, right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm, like, I'm laying on the ground trying to crawl to the car and shit. I'm, like, j I'm steady screaming j bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tried to get up, but this was spraying. Shit was off. But yeah, as y'all see, man, look. Get a little de detail. Y'all see, man. Rich, this this leg right here got fractured, right? Yep. This leg got fractured. This leg is gonna be shook back completely. It just got fractured, it got a heal. This is his amputee. He got a rest on this one, you know. He, he got he can still move it. He mm -hmm. got a rest on this until it heal up. Then he would get a prosthetic. It's gonna fit. So y'all, y'all still gonna see Rich, Wildland Rich, Lil Rich. Y'all still gonna see him doing his dance moves. Y'all still gonna see him rap. Y'all still gonna see him run around. Y'all still gonna see everything. It just right now he's in a healing, shaking back process. And with the people around him, he's gonna be definitely good sooner mm -hmm. than expected, bro. Sooner than expected. He's still dropping vlogs for y'all. Mm -hmm. He's still dropping music, everything. He's not on his ass. Like y'all yeah. might think he's sitting down on his ass. He's still getting to it. Trust me. And with us around, he's gonna do it. But he got a fractured leg. It's gonna get shook back. This is gonna be where his um, amputee leg is at. So right. He's gonna have an amputee. And if y'all can see, he really not losing much, I promise you. It's just like right here, bro. Yeah. It's just that. And this just make it look longer because yeah. it's got all that He's stuff really, uh huh. He's really not losing. The knees is at the same spot. Facts, knees is at the same spot. He's just missing an ankle and a little foot, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. a little yeah, foot. Man. He gonna get shook back. Make sure y'all, you know, keep him in his prayers. R.P. to Javo is definitely, man. With Javo, we're going to forever keep your name. Forever. Live. Ever. Like, your name is going to be forever, bro. I might get it tatted. I ain't going to lie. We can guess. Yeah, that's another video, y'all. That's another video. But Rich is going to be shook back. You know, he's in high spirits. Right now, he's playing the game, you know. He's playing the game, man. Stuff like that. Uh, so, Moving on from now on, how are you going to be moving? Like, how are you going to be moving? Hey, look, what, what can you tell? Matter of fact, first of all, what can you tell the youth or people that's watching? What, what's some advice you can give them from this incident that made you learn and notice that something that you, you know, on some real shit? Like, what's something that you could tell the supporters, the youth, kids, anybody that's watching this, bro? From Not so much, I ain't a lot. Well, listen to your gut. Like, that's the main thing, man. It's like every time I done messed up, I've never listened to my first good. Like, listen to your good. And chill. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. Like, this is going to make me chill. I ain't even going to pop out. I might pop out, you know, but not, not like how we was. You know, we was out every yeah, day, yeah, every no, week, yeah. every. Just chill. You know what I'm saying? It ain't wrong. Nothing wrong with chilling and laying back. Even if your friends go somewhere, just you got that good like I don't want to go. Don't, don't, and don't drive fast, please. To the miners that that got cars, yeah, drive yeah. safe. Drive man, safe, y'all. Drive safe. And um, don't go to sleep. Make sure you get before you go behind that wheel. Make sure you had you had the most sleep ever, for yeah. real, because that that is real. 
Yeah. You know? You could fall asleep behind that wheel, y'all. So make sure y'all, you know, like, if you're tired or however you're feeling driving, don't drive. Don't drive fast. Have seatbelts on. Yeah, Look, seat I would on. say seatbelts on 100%, but sometimes it's pros and cons. Mm -hmm. But you should be driving good enough to not be a con for seatbelts, meaning you should be driving good enough for the seatbelt. You, you know, mm -hmm. let the seatbelt do its job. But in this scenario, Rich didn't have a seatbelt on. That's that what made him, life. and that saved his life. Rich didn't have no seatbelt. It, it caused him to flew out when the car, like, imagine if Rich would have stayed in that car unconscious while it was burning up. Like, we both would have been dead. Y'all would have both would have been dead. We already lost J-Bo. That, that, that hurts, that, literally, that bro. Hurt to this hard. day, it, I can't even still process, comprehend this shit, bro. Like, I can't, but I don't know. It's, it's just like, it's just like, I got to wake up every day and just, like, go with the flow, but... Seriously, y'all, make sure y'all learn from this, man. But, you know, any questions y'all got ain't too for the rich, man, make sure y'all hit them up on Instagram, wildland.rich. Mm -hmm. You know, if y'all got any questions for me, Ruku Chris, make sure y'all hit me up on Instagram. Any videos y'all want us to do, comment on yeah. the bottom. Videos we can do on Rich, comment. Videos y'all want him to do on us, yep. comment. Videos it don't stop here, y'all. Do it don't him. stop. It don't stop. And I just want to let you know that, Rich, for real, bro. You still destined. This is real shit, bro. You still destined for greatness, son. Yeah, you yeah. still destined. You're you're not. You're not like you handicapped, but you're not handy handicapped to mm -hmm. where you gotta you gotta just sit down and everybody gotta do everything for you. Soon, bro. This the little stage of you just sitting gotta yeah. be put. I promise you, Rich. You're gonna be moving, bro. You're gonna be back. Mm -hmm. And probably even better when you know your new body. Mm -hmm. You're gonna know how to work it. I swear to God, you're gonna know how to work it, son. Talking about that prosthetic, you're gonna know how to work it. The clothes, you're gonna have like, you don't gotta worry about nothing, son. Just mentally be good, and it's a whole new change, bro, for the better. And God bless you for a reason to be here still. It was God plan, like everything was God plan. Like, RP to Javo, seriously. Hey y'all, seriously, y'all send condolences to his family. Y'all show love to the families, to Rich, everything, man. Uh. Yeah, that's what's it, but that's all the questions I really had to ask because, you know, the supporters was been asking me, you know, what's been going on and what's the update on Rich. Mm -hmm. But, y'all, Rich out the hospital. He doing good, playing the game right now. You feel me? He got his wheelchair right there, you know. He got his wheelchair, as you guys see. Uh, we, getting, we getting active, though. We going to shake this back, man. We going to shake this back. Long live j -Vo for sure, man. Y'all make sure y'all comment that in the chat. Long live j -Vo. For uh, real. Get well soon, Rich. For real, get well soon. For real, like soon, soon. Y'all already know what it is, Ooh. man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all stay tuned. Long live j -Vo. Get Get well soon, Rich. You got anything to say to them before we get up out of here? Long live j -Vo. Rue Crew. That's all. Wild in, Rue Crew. Crew. All that, Long live. man. Long live j -Vo once again, bro. Long live j -Vo, man. He forever with us, bro. Forever. I'm getting the tatted. Your angel. Yeah, for literally fallen angel, bro. Fallen soldier, all that, bro. Like that, that's our angel, bro. That's our brother. Like he, he in here right now. Mm, probably he, watching his spirit right in now. here right yeah. now, bro. But make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Like, comment, subscribe. We finna get up out of here. More bangers on the way. On game.